Welcome back to Music For Us. I am Jerry Weathers, and this is my best Super Bowl halftime show list. The worst list. I didn't have a lot to say, but this one I might have some more to say. I have three honorable mentions on this list, and what does it count? So let's jump into it. Number 10, Michael Jackson. MJ is a true showman. I was shocked to hear Heal the World, but the signs the crowd holds up are pretty cool. There was a glow, which is pretty good, but he also stands there for half of it in his gold jacket. So, this is at number 10 because of that. Number 9, Shania Twain, No Doubt. Now, I grew up listening to Shania, but the best part of their show is No Doubt. They're honestly one of the best rock bands of the 2000s. This show is really enhanced because of No Doubt. I highly recommend you check it out. Number 8, Jessica Simpson, Janet Jackson, P. Diddy, Nelly, Kid Rock, and Justin Timberlake. We all know which one this is. The famous wardrobe malfunction. First, let's discuss the show. Jessica doesn't sing, which is a huge plus for me, not a fan of hers, but she introduces Janet Jackson, who does a great job. Uh, then it's Pete Diddy and Nelly, who do an awesome job, and it's Kid Rock, who does Cowboy, which is always a pleasant sight. Ending with Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake, who wanted to outdo his ex-girlfriend Britney Spears, and the incident happened. The incident lowered it for me. Number 7, Aerosmith, NSYNC. Aerosmith did great, and I'm so glad they played Walk This Way with NSYNC. This also features Britney, since she was dating Justin at the time. If this was after a certain point, this would be on the worst list, but because it's here, it's pretty good. Number six, Madonna, Nicki Minaj, MIA, LMFAO, CeeLo Green. I don't like Madonna. She's not the reason this halftime show is on this list. It's everybody else. Nicki is a great lyricist, and she beat Lil' Kim in their beef, in my opinion. MIA does a great job, as so does the party rockers, LMFAO. Then there's CeeLo Green, a great MC and a singer who did great. Uh, Madonna ruined the show. Number five, Coldplay, Beyonce, Bruno Mars. Again, Beyonce is not the reason this is here. Coldplay is a huge reason, and Bruno Mars puts them at three. Beyonce harms them a little bit, puts them back two spots. Number five. Number four, Justin Timberlake. Don't judge me. I'm a huge Timberlake fan. It's the third and last time JT features on this list. Well, he did a great job as a guest. I'm glad he also gets a solo show. It was awesome, and he should be happy. It was great. Number three, the Black Eyed Peas. The Black Eyed Peas were also awesome. It starts out with a newer song, but then Fergie gets a chance to show off why she's a part of the group, why she deserves respect. She's a duet of sorts with Slash from Guns N' Roses, then with Where Is The Love. Number two, The Weeknd. This was hard. The Weeknd and the Aftermath Super Bowl shows are so close for me. Honestly, it could have gone the other way. The Weeknd did great and also apparently spent $7 million of his own money to do what he did. One of the most out there shows. Honestly, I'd love to see another one. I like that he kept the After Hours character in this as well. And now, for some honorable mentions. Super Bowl 48, Bruno Mars. Yes, I did put this as an honorable mention. It was awesome, and if I did 11, this would have made it. Unfortunately, it just it didn't make the cut. Super Bowl 53, WWE NXT. This doesn't count as it is counter-programming, but it is one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. I love this show, and if it counted, I would have put it on this list, but it's not, so I didn't. Comment uh, any other counter programming you like during the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 43, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce did well, just not well enough to make the list. Sorry. Number one, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, Eminem. If you know me, you know this is going to be pretty high on the list. The first time a West Coast stadium hosts its own team and feature West Coast artists is pretty cool. Going through the most well known songs of each artist's career. Eminem took a knee. It's still debated on whether or not the NFL knew or even approved of it. Does it matter? Not really. So this was the best Super Bowl halftime shows of all time. I love doing this. I'm excited to see Rihanna next week. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more music-based content. My name is Jared Weathers, and this was Music For Us.